new phone case. It's not as good as the old one. So welcome to another episode of The Best of What's Around. I'm Patrick Houston, and on this show, I like to talk about all the interesting ideas and creative concepts that I think of or borrow, uh, and hopefully you're like-minded. You can uh, get some benefit from it. So there's always this saying I heard. It was, uh, becoming an entrepreneur is like jumping off a cliff and building a helicopter on the way down. And I think that's a stupid statement because it scares people. I was like, how do I build a helicopter? Well, that's what this video is about. Um, so I've been toying with this idea. A uh, quick story. Me and my friend Chris, when we go work out and we do back, uh, we go up on the pull-up bar. Um, I'm 5'8", he's 5'10". We're roughly the same height. So the pull-up bar is about seven or eight feet in the air. So you have to kind of jump up to get it. But sometimes you don't feel like jumping up because, you know, there's a leg day or something like that. So what you do is you go get yourself a 25-pound weight and you put it there and you step up on the weight, do your pull-ups and do your max effort and then try to dangle to get your foot on that weight. Because if you jump down, you might hit that weight and, um, you know, might break your ankle like I did this morning, oddly enough. Anyway, so... How to build that helicopter on the way down? I think it goes like this. If you picture that pull-up bar as you becoming an entrepreneur, you giving out your max effort, face reality, you're going to fail. That's the point of it. So you can go up and do more later. You can't, everybody has this idea of that, uh, you know, you're supposed to get out there and you're going to be, you're going to be an entrepreneur. You're going to do all that stuff and, and you get frustrated when you start to fail. But my idea is instead of putting one weight down underneath that pull up bar, put 50. Each weight is a skill that you will hone that has something to do vaguely with what you're trying to do, even if you don't know what it is because you don't know how to build a helicopter yet, but you do know how to build an engine and you do kind of understand how aerodynamics work and you do understand, you know, different things about engineering. You get the idea. So that instead of one weight to step up on, you have a whole platform so that when you inevitably fail from giving your max effort, you can come down gently on that strong baseline of skill and knowledge and mistakes because the mistakes are down there too. And then you can get right back up on that pull-up bar after you regroup. In the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, which is a terrible movie, but it was, there were some lessons in there. At the end of the movie, he gets um, he gets a, you know, he gets caught up with a bunch of embezzlement stuff, and you know he can't um, he can't stop working. Eventually, he gets uh, fully arrested, and everything goes to jail. And the funny thing about that, at the end of the movie, that guy's at a seminar talking about sell me this pen. So they're paying him because he's a great salesman. He had a nice platform at the bottom of that pull-up bar. So that's going to be hard to do because it takes a pretty uncommon person to build that baseline because that baseline is a lot of work for seemingly nothing and it looks like nothing. It's just a platform. But if you place that platform underneath the right pull-up bar, You'll never have to struggle again. And that's the idea. Because if you never have to struggle again because of the baseline of skill and knowledge that you set up, that frees your brain up more to rebound. So that's my message today. I have a slogan I talk about building everything. Let me be. Let me build everything. Because that's what it is. I have no problem doing mundane and uh, monotonous work because that mundane and monotonous work 
uh, like right now I have to go do a shop right coin star but I know everything I know every single aspect of the Reese 3515 I can tell you what machine it is and it's an old machine doesn't matter so if I ever wanted a job at the Reese factory in Germany I could say hey I know 20 I mean I know 20 percent of your products and it happens like that and it's a repeatable thing so keep that in mind I guess um Everything that you're doing is not for nil. It's uh, it's a baseline, so you can get back up on that pull-up bar. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. A little shade there. Live high. Nope. It's the best of what's around. Comment. Until next time.